Hey guys, Doyle here with Doyle's Basement Records. Uh, hope everyone's having a good day. It is Thursday, so you guys know what that means. Picked up a few vinyls today. Um, picked up some pretty good ones today. For the first one, Tenacious D. I don't know if you guys know who Tenacious D is. Fun band, very fun band. Jack Black, the actor, yes. That is his band. He is the lead singer, rhythm guitar player, and uh, Kyle Gass, phenomenal. He graduated classical guitar, I think, some ridiculous age. I believe it was like almost like 13 in that area. Um, really funny songs on here, too. Um, this one, I don't know what was it called. I think it's just called, yeah, it's just their first studio album. Um, uh, and then they, they did a second one called The Pick of Destiny. They even did a movie. Love that album as well. But man, this one, it's really funny. I Nothing wrong with that one. All right, for the next one, picked up Megadeth. I haven't opened it, this one yet. About to do that. Where's my little... Let's see, it should be a colored vinyl. It's an import. Oh, it is not a colored vinyl. That is disappointing. Thought it was going to be. But I kind of want to talk a little bit about Megadeth. Yeah, P sells, but who's buying? His first one, Dave Mustang. Um, man, phenomenal. Phenomenal guitar player. Um, I don't think he gets enough credit, due. Uh Let's see, he was... One of the main reasons Metallica, like their first sound, that, uh, Kill Em All, that was all him, man. It wasn't really James Hetfield. And then they kicked him out, of course. He started Megadeth. And guess who uh, he picked up for a little bit to join his band? He picked up Kerry King from Slayer. So he got to dabble with that a little bit. So you were thinking about it. Dave Mustang and the big four uh, thrash bands, you know. He kind of helped three of them. Metallica started, helped mold Kerry King, the lead guitar player from Slayer, and uh, his own band, Megadeth. He's just a phenomenal guitar player. Um, yeah, just terrific. And then I picked up uh, Living Color Vivid. I haven't listened to this album. Man, how old am I? 32. 14, 15 years. It's been a very long time since I've uh, listened to this album. Very long time. Not a colored vinyl, unfortunately. Uh, like I would always, I would always pay a few bucks extra for a colored vinyl. Love them. Sucker for them. All right, now here we're getting some Grateful Dead. Anyone knows me? I'm a big Deadhead fan. All right, live in Stanford, Cali, 88. Hope you guys can see it. As we know, as you guys know, <laughs> I don't got any fancy editing. And th they, this one does say uh, colored vinyl. Where did I just? Oh yeah, right here. Duh, I haven't took it off yet. Limited edition triple colored LP set. Interesting. All right, let's see. Come on, come on. So, guys, I've been a, I've been a Grateful Dead fan for a long time, pretty much since sixth grade. Um, it's when I first kind of learned about them. I was lucky. I did a, in one of my videos earlier. I talked about how I got into vinyl, and that kind of explains how I kind of got into Grateful Dead as well. Thought the name was cool. My uncle was selling a bunch of vinyls at my grandparents' uh, uh, yard sale. So I, I picked uh, a few of his uh, records. He said, take as many as you want. Well, obviously, I don't take all of them, but grabs them. So I did. I grabbed, forget, man. Anywhere between 35 to 50 records. Grateful Dead was one of them. Just thought it was a cool name, and I remember went home to that record player. Looked on their, uh, oh, wow, yeah. Looked on Napster. I remember uh, Box of Rain. That name really stood out to me. 
And that was the first song I ever listened to. My still my favorite song to this day. Oh, man. Yeah, that's uh I hope you guys can see because I'm not gonna be re-editing it. <laughs> Alright, let's check it. Let's see what the colored vinyls are. Mmm. So I gotta stand up and show you guys this one. Let's see if they're all like that, or all of them are a little bit different. Oh man. All right, moment of truth here. That's gonna be really fascinating if they're all different. Yeah, all kind of. All just a little bit different. All with the same kind of uh, colors, but just a little bit different. Awesome. Let's see what the third one looks like. Ooh, a little poster too. Awesome, awesome. I'm digging that. All right. And for the last one, but not least, guess what? Another Grateful Dead and another box set for the Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead dick pics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> September 21st, 1972, Spectrum, Philadelphia. <coughs> Let's uh <coughs> let's see what we got here. <coughs> All right. This was an expensive one. This is kind of why I didn't do one last week. So I had to save up. Okay, okay. So. too special looks like just your typical yep yeah, nothing too special i know it's not colored I, oh man yep yeah, just your typical black oh dude they should do they should do some box sets with color like if they had a, a box set and you add another 35 even 50 bucks depending on how many lps come with it i would do it i love color vinyl always have always will um yeah, I'm, like I said, guys, I'm a sucker for them. <laughs> but, uh, man, not a... Yeah, I'm really digging these colored vinyls. And I'm, like I said, big Grateful Dead fan, so my great... If, hope we can see it. My Grateful Dead collection from here all the way here. So I got four box sets by them. So I think a total of 31 albums. So, yeah, I got quite a few. But, uh... All right, guys, that is it. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.